The iPhone 4 and 4S have the HDR feature built into the camera, but Apple has imposed software restrictions not letting us use the HDR feature on the iPad 3rd generation or iPad 3. Today, I'm going to show you how to enable HDR on your iPad 3 or iPad 3rd generation and what it means for your photo. Let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need two things, Cydia and iFile. To get Cydia, you will need to jailbreak your new iPad using Absinth 2.0, which I won't cover in this tutorial, and you'll need iFile, which will be modifying files of the iPad. To start off, I'll show you that the camera right now does not have an HDR option. Launch a camera here, and so you go to options, there's the grid, and uh, that's about it. There's no HDR, just tap to focus like usual, and that's about it. So let's go into iFile and start editing the file. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is go into iFile, which will wait to load, and you're going to go all the way back. I'm going to go ahead and go to System, Library, I'm going to scroll down to Private Frameworks, and I'm going to go ahead and go to Media Toolbox dot Framework. This is sorted alphabetically, so just go down. Media Toolbox dot Framework here, and we're going to go ahead and go to J1. And we're going to go ahead and go to AV Session dot plist. We're going to click on Text Viewer. Go ahead and search and uh, search full resolution preview of course that doesn't exist so we have to get rid of the space go ahead and search for that you will see it right here hopefully you can see it at least hit the edit button on top click right below or right beside the true rather go ahead and line it up in the right key And in capitals, HDR. And in the weird bracket, a slash and key. And I'm going to go ahead and write true. It needs to look exactly this way, or else it will not work. You may need to use full screen to view this. And uh, here it is full resolution preview key and HDR. True. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Here's what it looks like. Specifically this line right here. Okay, since we're done with this file, we'll just click save and we're going to go and click done. I'm going to go all the way back until you get to library. I'm going to go ahead and go to Core Services. We're going to go ahead and go to Springboard.app. And we're going to go ahead and click, or sorry, type J1, which is the iPad 3G. Now we're going to bring up J1 AP.plist here. I'm going to hit Edit. And we'll go and type anywhere in here. It'll sort us up alphabetically, automatically. We'll go key. Sorry, bracket, key, and we'll go HDR, I'll just cancel this out, dash, image, dash, capture. The bracket thing, key, do a few spaces, and true, right under it. And right under it, again, I'm gonna go right, key, key and camera flash bracket thing key and true this is very all need I'll zoom in in just a second here it is zoom in so you can see better HDR image capture and camera flash and uh, this is zoomed in so you can see better and you must do it the exact same way. Don't misspell anything. Make sure to check everything over or else your iPad may crash. Once you're satisfied, go ahead and click save and done. And exit out of iFile. Just hit home and for multitasking. And go ahead and reboot your iPad. Finishing the process. 
Okay, my iPad just booted up. Let's take a look at the results. Take a look at the camera. And uh, you could see HDR option. You can flick it on and off here. On and off, hopefully. HDR. And uh, I'll go ahead and take a picture of my iPhone here. And you can see the reflection. This is an iPad. Just hold focus on that. HDR on. Saving HDR. And here you have the photo. Unfortunately, I shook a little bit, so it's a bit of ghosting. Here's a normal photo. Washed out. A little bit better on HDR. I'll include some example photos. And uh, if you like this tutorial, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.